year means a handful of new laws for the Carolinas, including one that will help needy families. 7 News reporter Robert Kittle tells us the law gets rid of the sales tax on building materials, but only in certain cases. This Habitat for Humanity home in Casey is almost finished. It's sheetrocked inside, ready for trim, final um, floor finishes, uh, cleaning of the yard, landscaping, driveway, and it'll be ready. I'd say 30 days from now, weather permitting. A new law that just took effect will help Habitat and other charities that build and fix homes for low-income families. The law removes the sales tax on all the construction materials those charities buy. On a new home, uh, we, th we figured at least $3,000 per house that we're going to save. On a rehab, it's hard to say. Our rehabs, when we do a rehab and move a family in, sometimes they run about $35,000, $40,000, so I'm guessing around a two dollars or $3,000 savings there as well. That extra money will allow the groups to build and renovate more homes, helping more families. This law was meant to help charities like Habitat for Humanity save money on their materials, but it could have an unintended consequence of helping flood victims. As long as charities like Habitat or some other group are doing their repair work and the family is at or below 80% of their county's median income. Any materials that we buy to do repairs, it applies to, yes. Anybody that we serve, as long as they're within the 80% median area in income, so we're looking to start our, our work with the uh, flood victims that have fallen through the cracks and are low-income families. This particular house in Casey is the first Habitat home in the neighborhood. Habitat has a grant to buy up to nine lots in the neighborhood with hopes of replacing boarded-up homes like this one with new ones. In Casey, Robert Kittle, 7 News. Another new law that took effect January 1st adds the sales tax. Lawmakers exempted Amazon from collecting the sales tax as an incentive to attract the online retailer. That exemption ended January 1st, so now you have to pay the sales tax on anything you buy on Amazon.com when you click purchase.